Hey everyone, it's Josie and today I'm going to talk about my AFOs. Why do I have them? What do they look like now? I made a video when I first started this channel about, I think it was like two years ago, talking about my AFOs and kind of the story of why I had to start wearing the AFOs. So I'm going to kind of touch on that and then I want to explain a few things about them that different people have asked me questions about. So. Might as well just go over them with this and just kind of redo the video. So I had to get braces when I was, I think, 19 or 20. And the reason was is because I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. With Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, it is likely that like your joints can sublux or pop out of place. And what was happening was my ligaments were so stretchy in my legs and in my feet. I dislocated tendons a few times. I've overstretched ligaments and then like broke parts of my feet and my knees would hyperextend. I had like one knee that was just way worse than the other leg. So pretty much everything was just slowly getting worse. The instability of my ankles was not okay. They always hurt. And I used to always wear skater shoes. And the whole reason for that was because they were the only shoes that did not hurt my feet. Everything else hurt my feet. Running shoes were killing my feet. I always wore skater shoes because they were flat. I would get insoles like professionally made and I would break them down in six months. So there was at one point a conversation of like your hips are just so out of line, your knees are out of line, your ankles are unstable. Like you're gonna land in a wheelchair by the time you're in your 20s or 30s. This landed in the conversation of getting AFOs, which are ankle orthoses. They are molded to your leg. You're gonna talk about what kind you need and what are your needs and what are you expecting. My foot doctor kind of had an idea as well as what type I needed. And then the conversation kind of just goes on from there. They do the molds and then that's when they begin the process of making them. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, these are my main set of braces. They're my main set of braces because my foot cannot go past, I can't point my foot, they have a little stopper on them. I'm gonna kind of talk about these. You cannot buy off of different stores, you can't randomly request them after you get the leg braces made. And the reason for that, because this is shaped the way it is, you see how it's like up more and it's curved? Okay, that's not always normal, but that is normal if you get these inserts. These inserts are typically used for people that might get sores a lot. These are something that if you would want these sort of inserts, I don't know the proper name for them, but if you ask the person that are making your braces for the all around foot and ankle ones, then they know where they have to cut them and they can drill it on there as well because they are different. You can't add these once you get your leg braces made and you get them you cannot add the bigger phones. Definitely nowhere that you can buy these. You can't buy these either. It's molded to your foot. I do have another set that I have talked about. I use these ones especially for my martial art classes and longboarding. I have a little thing at the bottom, a little stabilizer. I can stand without shoes. So these are like really good for my martial art classes. They're also lighter than my other ones, special little inserts. So if you wanna know how to clean your leg braces, I made a video about that called cleaning my AFOs. I would definitely suggest that because your leg is in this all the time. Another question that has been asked about my braces is what sort of socks, where do I get my socks? I always try to get like little fun socks. I have Star Wars socks, superhero socks. I have little cutesy ones with little bows on them and stars, literally anywhere that sells long socks. I know there is specially made AFO socks. I do not have any. I just buy ones because I really like to just have fun socks. If I have to wear these all the time, then I'll wear fun socks. And that's another question is how often do you wear your leg braces? I wear my leg braces sometimes a few hours a day up to like 16 or 17 hours a day. It completely depends on how my legs feel. What I'm doing that day, there's some days that I'll wear them to work and that's it and I come home and take them off. I can now walk I can run and I can do activities now that I have these leg braces. If I did not get these, I do not know how my lower half of my body would be doing right now. And whenever your lower half of your body, because you're putting all of your pressure on your legs and your feet, 
to start messing up your back and that's what was happening. And on days that I don't want to wear my leg braces, I try wearing them for a few hours. They're not fun, I can't stand them sometimes, and they make every outfit look so weird. I, I always have like a battle in my brain whenever I want to wear a dress or wear shorts, but I typically just like, I don't care. They help me live my life. I can go to work and not worry about it. I've got my feet caught a few times in soccer nets, but that's okay, you know. You just laugh it off, it's all good. It is something that I look at more on the positive side for myself. This place that I go to now is so much like, what is your comfort level? What do you think helps? Like for instance, a typical leg brace is not gonna have this strap in the middle. I don't know what happened that this strap in the middle became a thing, but it works really, really well for me. Typically you don't see this strap at all, but it pushes my leg this way. And the whole reason for that is because of my ligaments already being so stretchy, my legs look like funky sometimes. And they did before I got the leg braces, which I'm going to show a picture of. So ever since then, it's like my legs have also straightened out in the process and I also uh, am an inch taller than what I was before um, because my legs are straightened out now. Look at it more on the side of I want to wear these and I know I need to because I know that in order for me to go throughout my day, I need to make sure that I'm not in a bunch of pain. This as a way of, well, if I don't wear them, where am I landing myself right now? So I hope that answered any extra little questions anyone had about my AFOs. Um, I hope that gives a little bit more of a light as to why I choose to wear these every day and why I don't really have a problem with them. I just see it as two things. My two legs are not in pain. I, they're not killing me all the time. So that's just something that I, I, I love about this. Something can help and we figured it out and it may look a little funky whenever I wear some clothes, but you know what? It's there to help and that's okay. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good week, and I will see you soon.